Ladies and gentlemen, holy crap. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on last week's video. Like over a thousand views in just a week. That is the crazy, that's the most growth I've ever seen one of my videos do ever. That's literally like a hundred views, not even. That's more than a hundred views a day. That's crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for that. And because of that, I'm going to be doing another training spot video. And this time it's on Ascension. So today I'm going to be giving you the best training spot on Ascension. Now with this training spot, I made it to round 65. I died because I was really, really bored. This is where the Lunar Lander spot is, right where PhD used to be, now it was wine. And it is such an easy spot where I'm, uh, I only was using one gun at the beginning and then I accidentally got more perks, uh, which I'll get into later in the video. But like, it's such a very easy strategy is because you literally just train around this area. There's a couple things you need to do first, you know, is you call in the Lunar thing. And just use that, just in case you need to escape. Shit gets hairy, use the Lunar to dip. But uh, you shouldn't be able to because it's a very, very easy strategy. I recommend using the Dingo because the Dingo packs a lot of ammo. Pack a punch of that and then get dead wire on it. That is it. That's all you need to the strategy. Literally, that's it. You just run around in circles, clamp them up, and just shoot them until you get dead wire thing, and then they die. That is how I got to round 65. Now, for your secondary, I highly recommend the Thunder Gun, just in case you mess up somehow, and you need to use it and blast them out of existence. Here you see I have three perks. I got Mule Kick because I destroyed the monkeys without them hitting me or hitting the perks, so I got a free perk because of it. And so for my third gun, I got the Ray Gun Mark II. I was lucky to get that out of the box, so I pack punched it. So, I recommend, the two guns that I recommend is Dingo with Deadwire and then the Thunder Gun. But if you have Mule Kick, like I do here, because you got it for free, uh, then get the Raygun Mark II. But let's go further in depth here. Now, this strategy literally is essentially running around in circles, shooting them with dead wire. And that's it. That's literally it to it. It's so easy. It's ridiculous how easy this is. Let's get into the perks, shall we? So, quick revive, stamina, because you need to run in this, speed cool up, because the Thunder Gun and the Dingo kind of takes a while to reload. And then, of course, Juggernaut, because you need that to survive. You're probably wondering, what about the monkeys, you know? Shit, like, I don't want them to steal my perks. It is honestly very easy. Like, it's hard to get your perks stolen because the four perks that I chose, they're all semi-close together. Like, Jug is close to Speed Cola and, and pretty close to Quick Revive. And then the only one that's far away is Stamina. But because you have Stamina, you can easily run to those perks. And that's why you need a Thunder Gun to blast the monkeys out of existence. Just use that to destroy the monkeys. And say you do lose a perk. Say you do. It doesn't matter because you'll be at such a high round that you don't that you won't be spending any money. You'll have so much money so that you can easily just go ahead and buy another perk just like that. This strategy is so easy. It is honestly ridiculous. Like I guarantee you 100% of the time you will get over round 30 like first try. I say round 30 but like that's standard round 30. Like I got to 65 bro. I could have kept going. But I, I, I decided not to. I decided to quit because I got really bored. Like, honestly, around 100 is not hard on this map. It's just whether you have the patience to do it. Gobble gums, I use in plain sight. Like, I don't really use gobble gums, to be honest. But, like, in, but like the alchemical antithesis to get the, you know, free ammo. And then to get in plain sight is the ones I recommend. But this is a very, very, very easy strategy. And honestly, anybody can do it. Beginner or not beginner. Like, beginner, you'll easily get to round 30. But, uh, you know, it's just being smart with how you're training and when the zombies are coming. But other than that, it's a very easy spot and no, you should have no problem doing this. So without further ado, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you out. And uh, yeah, I'm Goomba67. Peace out.